Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to my channel, Anne's Aesthetics, where hopefully I can bring you a little bit of positivity, happiness, and just a vibe through painting that is made to cater towards beginners, people who are just in it for the hobby. I'm going to be doing a Pickle Rick Trippy Acrylic Marker painting today on this canvas. This is a, I believe it was a 2 inch by 2 inch canvas. And I'm starting off with this really light green color to do the entire base of the pickle rig. Give this like a pop of color. I'm adding this lime green color to give some highlight to the pickle. I got these acrylic markers off Amazon. Um, I got them for like $30 and it was like a pack of 50. I don't mind them. Sometimes the color I feel really struggles to get out there but once you get it going it's pretty good but I do notice that I do go through a lot of the paint I feel like but maybe it's because I also do a lot of tutorials so I am going through a lot more product that way so after doing some little darkened shading shade of that green on the pickle as well I'm going to take a bright red acrylic marker and I'm going to start the first layer of the trippy effect as always, if you don't have acrylic markers, you can use acrylic paint for this. Just use smaller paint brushes, especially on a small canvas like this. But, okay, I'll go. The next shade will be this beautiful blue color. I really like this color. It's like kind of like a pale blue, but not too pale. It's like a dark pastel. So I thought it'd be super cute with the trippy pastel effect of the lighter pastel green that we had for the base. I do just want to give an update for everyone. I have switched my posting schedule to a little bit less. I used to post three times a day, but I really noticed that wasn't um, completely necessary. So I'm trying to do about one post a day, but I am currently working full time and work has been taking up a lot of my time. So I'm trying to focus on painting and catching back up, but it's been a little bit of a struggle, so just bear with me, and I appreciate your patience. Now, honestly, this yellow shade is perfect. I love this. And then I'm going to switch to a dark purple, kind of also pastel little shade to do the next layer. As always, I like to get the corners and edges just to make sure it gives it a really full effect. And then I'm going to start on the kind of like forehead of Rick. It's that lighter blue shade. Now this black acrylic marker for some reason always does this when it goes over top the other brand acrylic markers that I've been using. So I ended up having to use paint instead for this, but I wanted to get the eyes placed so I could figure out where all the black little lines were going to go. So these are his eyes. Taking an extremely tiny paintbrush for this black to do some fine details. To find tiny paintbrushes like this, I honestly go to Walmart to get them. You can get them for like a $5 pack and it comes with a bunch of brushes. It works out really well. 
Perfect or Five Below I've also shopped at to get brushes. Those are pretty good too. So I've done a couple pickle ricks in the past and honestly this is my favorite one that I've done. The other ones never really looked spot on but this one I really took my like focus on and wanted to make sure I guess it was just because I had just the pickle rick and not all the other elements but I felt like this one turned out much better than the other ones that I've done in the past so that's progress Finishing the outline in and putting in his little pupils. I also took my time with this as well. I don't know if you noticed, um, but the camera angle did kind of switch. I purchased an item to kind of help with that. And so now I can get a better view of just straight on for y'all. For his tongue, I'm going to be using this Flamico Red shade. And I'm going to be taking another extremely tiny paintbrush. You could use your acrylic marker for this, but I just wanted to make sure it looked really good and was precise. So I used um, just a small, tiny paintbrush with some white paint on it. It actually ends up smearing um, on the tongue, so I wait for it to dry and then go back in with the white layer to cover up the red spots that mixed in. And I'm just going to use that white to finish off with my little signature with my heart. And then, woo, look at that. That is the finished product. It's so easy. You can do it, too. I hope you have a wonderful, happy rest of your day. Stay wonderful. Take care. Bye.